if not comfortably, then perhaps precariously on his marula tree. It is now obviously very, very dark. We will be leaving the sighting as soon as we've finished off with our sunset safari. Wild dogs! There's wild dogs in this sighting! I don't believe this! Run, Shadow, run, Shadow, run! I don't believe this! There's Karula there. This is absolutely phenomenal. We can't move just now. We need to give these leopards space. Run, 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 up! Good girl! This is absolutely astounding. Obviously, we're not going to finish the show right now. Karula's made it safely up into the tree. Shadow has as well on the other side of the termite mound. This is incredible. Absolutely. Here comes the dog. Duck my head down. Where did you come from? No wonder the hyena belted away like it did. Come on, Shadow. Karula's cubs. I really hope are up somewhere nice and safe. I'm sure they are. Here comes the wild dog to see what's going on. Being watched carefully by Tingana, who of all of them has turned out to be the safest and most secure. No wonder that hyena went sprinting away. <laughs> the most, the second most endangered carnivore in Africa just came belting onto the scene. Forget soap opera, this is, this is on a whole different level. Disappearing off into the dark. Obviously we have extended the drive. Life's very tricky for Dave right now, there's too many things to look at. And we are on a very awkward la sort of level. There go the dogs there. Just when we thought things couldn't get more dramatic, wild dogs have come racing onto the scene. There's the male. You can see it's him with his thick neck. And now they're jumping up at the tree where Karula is. But she's okay. She's going to be absolutely fine there. Let's stay looking at the marula tree where they're jumping. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Leaping up to try and reach for her. Then no chance there doggies. Not a chance. Karula is far too canny for you and if I know Karula like we do, she's got those cubs safe and sound somewhere as well. I know that you're all terribly worried about the cubs. That was my first thought as well. But they are going to be okay. I'm sure they're up in the tree already. Particularly since the hyena was lurking around. Here comes the wild dog behind us. My goodness gracious me. The most, one of the most extraordinary sightings. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Apparently you guys are all speechless. I'm speechless too. I couldn't understand why that hyena sprinted like a mad creature all of a sudden. I thought for one crazy moment Karula had tried to chase it away. Here comes the... My goodness gracious me. I know it's getting very dark, but obviously for those of you who are joining us for the first time, in this situation we absolutely cannot put any lights on these animals. And in fact we're not going to move either until we've got a better idea of where it, all the players are. We're just going to sit here and let this moment sink in. I know you can just see a little bit. Unfortunately, it is getting too dark. This is as light as we can get everything. That was truly, truly astounding. <laughs> James Richard wants to know how long until the lions show up. James, hopefully not at all. Especially with our endangered wild dogs and our leopards everywhere, but I get your drift. Why don't we throw in a cheetah for good measure and just complete the astounding afternoon?
and an artvark, why not? Let's have an artvark wander into the midst, because this has just really been momentous. A drive for the record books. Three different types of predators, big predators. Five leopards, three wild dogs, one hyena, all playing out in one spectacular sighting. Racing around behind us. taken my breath away and sleepy one yes what we're watching here is completely normal so we are in a very awkward position and I'm actually going to in a moment I'm going to ask Dave to turn the presenter light off my face just because it's now got so dark that it's providing a little bit of extra ambient light so Dave if you don't mind if you can just switch that off sorry guys you can barely see me we're sitting in the dark but that is what we need to do because now it's got to the point where it's got so dark that we have to do that. So sleepy one, yes, it's totally normal for wild dogs to chase leopards. Sorry, I've got trying to have eyes in the back of my head here. The reason they do it is it's a predator hierarchy. And they actually come right up top. Depending on numbers, if they've got the advantage of numbers, they fall just below lions in terms of the hierarchical layout of the different predators. So they very, very often chase leopards up trees when they encounter them. Which is, of course, what has played out here. Shadow, I heard her growling. I think she's made it into a marula tree on the other side of the termite mound. Garula's accounted for. Tingana, of course, through all of this, is absolutely fine. The hyena's booked out of the sighting. That's just Karula's cubs, and unfortunately we'll just have to wait for the sunrise safari to find out what happens. I think the wild dogs have decided they're bored, and that it's time to clear off. They're going to be finding somewhere safe to settle down for the evening. Oh, listen. sounds in all the world. Okay, I think the wild dogs have gone for now. It's time for us to remove ourselves from this particular situation and let the scenario play out however it is meant to play out. I think it's safe to say that that is one afternoon for the record books. What an incredible surprise. Sure, Dave, I still can't believe it. I was totally speechless. I'm so glad you were all there with us to share in it. Well done to Dave and a big thank you as well as to the lovely Kirsty and Jerry in Final Control and to all of you. Join us on the Sunrise Safari and we'll try and puzzle together what happened during the night. <laughs>